Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to give people an update on the recently scraped data uh, from uh, DV 2019 SIAC data. Um, this then data, as you know, is collected by uh, many people gathering the data, doing some effort. Um, and I, I just want to thank again the people that are really putting in some incredible effort here uh, to make sure that we're all informed about uh, the visas issued and the current status in DV 2019. There are a lot of people who've been uh, who've been helping out with this effort. So thank you to all of those. Um, and also a big thanks again to Zarthisius uh, who provides this site and the ability to scrape the data. So appreciate much appreciated as well. Um, so okay, we recently finished scraping the data on the fifth of July. Uh, and this is uh, the most recent um, data available. Um, we can see that there are 27,000 visas that have been issued so far uh, to this point. So we have the remainder of July, uh, August and September, uh, and roughly speaking, you know, in excess of 20,000 visas are left. Um, the visas are underfilled at the moment, whether there are not as many visas issued as they would normally be at this time of year. And, uh, and, and quite frankly, we're not going to be filling the quota this year. Um, there are plenty of visas available for people. Um, and a lot of that is to do with the new document procedure, which has reduced the amount of demand that there has been for the visas. Um, it's an artificial factor. It's not real. Um, and it will mean that there will be disappointment when people uh, realize that they've missed out on this year's uh, lottery because they didn't understand the new requirements for the for the documents and they didn't comply with those requirements. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double edged sword. It's good news for higher case numbers and all numbers as we know are current, um, but it's extremely bad news for the people that don't understand what's happening. And um, uh, I've, I've done everything I can to try and get the word out and I hope you will all um, do that in the last remaining days that people can do something to try and save their case. Um, so as we look through the regions, um, you can see the phenomenon that we're talking about here. Um, as I've mentioned in a previous video and explained before, uh, there should be a roughly a, a sort of a standard level of responses from actual cases. So in this graph, we're looking at an Africa region. The blue is is holes. Um, I've explained in a, in another blog post what holes are. Uh, and I'll do a video to explain that in more detail. Um, and then roughly speaking, uh, initially around about 65% of the of every thousand cases are real cases. Um, so everything from here down to here is a real case. And as you can see over the year, some have, people have responded, some haven't responded, some have been issued or put on AP or refused. Um, but at the later numbers here in this area, as I explained in a previous video, uh, there should be more activity. There should be higher levels of activity at this point. And um, it's not happened. Uh, we now have seen the 2NLs being released for the month of August interviews. The 2NLs, uh, the only remaining 2NLs that we're going to see are at the end of July uh, for September interviews, or by the end of July for September interviews. So it's clear that uh, not enough people are being informed that they need to supply uh, the documents, or they've supplied the documents, but they've done something wrong, and so they're not going to get uh, they're not going to get a, an appointment. Um, so that's the current state of play. You can go and download this data. Uh, it's all available for you uh, here. This is the latest version of the data. Um, you can also see the second notification letter counts. So Zarthisius works on this. Uh, to present that information. Uh, let's see this one here. Um, and uh, this has allowed us to understand how many uh, 2NLs are being sent in each given month. So in March, we can see there are around about 2,200 2NLs being sent. We can see the per uh, region numbers here. Um, an increase, particularly in Africa in April, uh, May was pretty good, and then June, Africa um, 2NLs increased substantially. That's, that was a good sign, and I was pleased to see overall 3,700 uh, 2NLs being uh, sent. Um, but in order to uh, use up all the available visas, they would have to increase the number of uh, 2NLs. 
And disappointingly, in July and now in August, we can see they've slipped back to 3,300 um, interviews being arranged. Um, and you know, quite frankly, that's not enough to give away all of the uh, all of the visas that are available this year. So that's uh, that's the chart showing the um, the progress. Uh, if we just flip back to the data, that's basically it in terms of the data. Um, if people haven't seen this data before, uh, you can do a few things in here. You can see what the progress has been month to month. So if I uh, show you this, if you focus on this area, but I scroll backwards here to last month's data, you can see that there was an increase from 21825 visas uh, issued last month to 27352. So just what over 6,000. Um, so uh, just under 6,000, I should say. Um, so a pretty good uh, increase for the month. But let's say we increase at that level, 6,000 per month. That would be 18,000 visas um, you know, the, the, in the remaining July, August, September. And that isn't going to be the case because we're already 6,000 is a lot. But let's say it went to 6,000. Um, we would only be at 40,000 visas. Um, and so that's why I'm saying we're going to be underfilled. These numbers do not include adjustment of status, uh, which will add around about a thousand cases, a thousand people rather, uh, visas issued. Um, we won't see those in the SEAC data. The SEAC system is not updated for the adjustment of status uh, cases. Um, <clears throat> there is no region that's going to hit its quota. Um, if we go back to the current view, there is no region here that's close to hitting the quota. Uh, the quotas for Africa are over 20,000, for EU nearly 20,000. Asia has around about 8,000 visas available to it. Uh, Oceania has, uh, I believe, 800 and something. Um, and uh, South America has about 1,000. Um, so that's the quotas they could be going for, but no one's close to those. Uh, no one's close to those numbers. And as I showed you in the spreadsheet, um, there is nobody, uh, we'll look at that again, there, is, there are not enough interviews being arranged uh, to, uh, to exceed those numbers. So that's the current state of play. I hope that's clear to people. I am going to be creating some videos to explain uh, the, the data in a little bit more detail uh, and the process, the draw process itself. Um, Please let me know other videos that you'd like to see um, uh, that you think would be useful for people's understanding. Um, please do subscribe to my channel, like my videos, uh, read my blog. Um, please do interact. It's helpful for me to understand um, you know, exactly what's on your minds uh, collectively, um, what bits of the, uh, the puzzle uh, need to be better understood. Um, okay, that's it from me. Have a great day.